Hi, this is Father Vladimir Zablotsky from St. Peter and Paul, and I'm doing another video. Uh, two weeks ago, or, s or perhaps more, a uh, neighbor from across the street, Lisa, challenged me to, uh, uh, to grow mushrooms, and um, here we are. Uh, I'm making a video of the process because I did a little bit of research how to uh, to do it at home and what would I need and I found out that the easiest mushrooms to grow at home are the white button mushrooms and portobello mushrooms in addition to oysters mushrooms so today we're going to start from um, getting ready to grow portobello and uh, white button mushrooms and of course portobello bark mushrooms that when they are small when they are not open they when they are in this stage they call them uh, baby bella or cremini mushrooms so uh, i don't know if you know but when you grow mushrooms mushrooms don't grow from seeds uh, and you uh, they have spores and you have to first collect the spores one of the easiest way to grow the mushrooms perhaps buying uh, a special kit that is already preset for you and you, all you have to do is just water it uh, on the schedule and they will just magic, magically un appear but I decided to uh, take this challenge to another level and started from the scratch so every mushroom you know uh, has inside right here around in this area there is um, set of gills I, I would call them gills or gills how do you say it gills and all you need to do is to, just to take the stem off by the way this is edible so you take the stem off and try to clear this uh, white stuff that was kinda almost sealing the mushroom from from the inside and just put the mushroom over the white pa paper and when you do that make it, make sure that you write which mushroom is which so I'm gonna make few of the cremini and then of course I um, during my research I found out that in order to get them out people just put a, a paper cup over it I don't know if, for whatever reason they do that perhaps to prevent critters from eating or you know and then they put something heavy on top of it but uh, just cover a mushroom with a uh, with uh, with a cup like that and I'm gonna do uh, another one I'm actually need to take a good portion of the mushroom just to open up the gills like that a little bit and all these gills they have they have spores inside so you have to uh, you know just make sure you expose them and then put them on the white pa paper and cover them uh, I, I believe that uh, here's a nice little gill I'm just gonna put it where I'm gonna put the mushroom and it came came out on its own but I'm, I'm just put, put the mushroom over it and cover it um, See the gills covered with the, with the cup. I'm looking for a bigger one, so perhaps has more more gills inside. These, for some reason, kind of come out on their own, but I'm still gonna save them and uh, make sure I expose the rest of them quite nicely to the paper. And hopefully, overnight all the spores will begin fall onto the paper and there's a big fly over here but good thing we cover the mushrooms with the so you get the idea you just have to expose all these gills to to the point where they can be probably could have worked with the, with the open big portobello mushrooms uh, much better because if you ever bought portobello mushrooms those gills are really big and perhaps fuller um, with the spores 
uh, the video that I watched on YouTube uh, somebody was making and they actually started a bunch of mushrooms just using one of these mushrooms on the paper and then um, the next steps I will show you what they did next but one one mushroom uh, could be plenty to produce for you and your family quite substantial um, uh, harvest of mushrooms and the white ones are kind of sealed almost but anyway I'm gonna still do that and just cover it with a with a carp uh, trying to expose them a little bit it's kind of almost have to break mushroom uh, a little bit apart but as long as little gills are exposed what it, what it will do overnight, all these spores, as mushroom begins to kind of, not really dry, but uh, uh, wilt, these spores supposedly supposed to come out on that paper. And if we are successful tomorrow, I will show it to you what we're gonna what we're supposed to do next. I'm presuming this this video um, or number of videos it will take a few weeks from for us from the time we put the mushrooms into the growing media and till the time we actually have the first harvest I, I'm, I'm guessing it should be a few weeks but uh, I'll be making a few videos along the way uh, so you can watch the progress and hopefully success or failure depends what is going to happen with our, our mushrooms so, uh, one of the things that I think I'm predicting kinda, kinda in advance what will happen uh, especially with the portabella mushrooms I, I'm, 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 I'm not going to harvest them when they are like this but I will wait until they become portabella mushrooms and when they open up and they are big and once they open up they they supposed to reseed um, on their own in in that growing medium that, that you will have so hopefully that um, uh, at least with the porta, portabella mushrooms we won't have to do this kind of reseeding over and over again I suppose you can do that the same the same way with the white mushrooms because I don't know if you ever saw the white mushrooms uh, open but they they also grow to the size as portabella do and then then they open up and all these gills begin to be exposed and that's how they receive them themselves for the future as well so and these are these are kind of hard almost want to put an take a knife to them because these gills are sealed underneath with this little bit of white growth I guess to protect them uh, but let's hope it will work oh well I suppose the easiest way would be just to chop these mushrooms really 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 nice in, without doing all of this and mix in the growing medium but that's just my guess and I'm not I didn't I never grew mushrooms before so perhaps you shouldn't listen to me anyway this is all that we do for today we have to wait at least 24 hours for these mushrooms to release all the spores and then to uh, we will move on to our next step to um, to plant all these spores into the growing medium so stay tuned and I'll see you shortly